Rama Nation, Chris Cobain here bringing you week 13 of the National Pokemon Association. It is the final week of the regular seasons. The Baltimore Blaziken standing at an impressive 10 and 1 are going to be taking on Cyber Nightmare and his Huntville Houndoom, Huntsville Houndooms, excuse me, as we uh, finish the regular season. Hopefully on a high note here. Um, dude's got a really terrifying team. Make sure, as always, you check the team builder. It's going to be in the description below. We are running some straight fire today. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Uh, I will reveal one Pokemon for those of you who the team builder. We are running a Rest Talk Acupressure Knockoff Drapion. It's going to be awesome. Um, hopefully. But, uh, we're basically guaranteed a bye week in the playoffs already. So this, the, the, the um, the result of this game doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Uh, but of course, we're obviously going to try for the win. A win does absolutely 100% guarantee us to be the number one seed in the playoffs, and it allows us to end on a very high note and have momentum going in, uh, which is obviously also uh, very important. So, go ahead and send the challenge, and we have that all ready to go. And uh, here we go, guys. Nice and easy, nice and quick, and uh, week 13 of the NPA, guys. going to start right now, so... Uh... Let's pick like some random stuff. Hopefully this is good music. Music 18, sure, why not? We'll be using like Elite 4 music for the playoffs. Well, let me just say you know. Alright, so. Um, pretty much all around, I guess, what I expected. We don't see the Zygarde, which is a little interesting. I really expected Zygarde to come. Uh, but he runs a super offensive core here, um, which I'm not too surprised in. We do see the Empoleon, which kind of disturbs me a little bit. Uh, we don't see the Regirock either, which is actually kind of concerning, because I planned on uh, setting up subs on that. We do see the Weavile, the Porygon Z, the Mega Latias, the Electivire, Empoleon, and Darmanitan. Got two really potential Scarfers with that Porygon and that Darmanitan, so we're going to have to pay attention to which one is that. My lead here is going to be Jirachi, as I am... A Choice Scarfed variant of Jiraji. I will be faster than his entire team, save for like a Choice Scarf Weavile, which would be crazy. Um, and yeah, it gives us a chance to just go ahead and smack something with a U-turn and see what we can do. Pretty simple. And what do we got? Z. And he leads off with... Pangu the Empoleon, actually. Wow. Okay, good lead for him, actually. It's going to grant him the ability to instantly set up Stealth Rocks on me here. Um, Very clever. Very cleverly done by him. He instantly will be able to set up some Stealth Rocks on us. Not too concerning for me. I'm not too worried about that. Just trying to check some things real quick. What do I want to U-turn into here? Okay, I think we're going to go into Verizion here. I think Verizion makes the most sense. And that will grant us the ability to fire off a close combat. Which will be absolutely phenomenal. He does stay in, of course. Almost certainly we'll see the Stealth Rock coming. There is a slight chance that he plays really aggressive here and goes for an Ice Beam. Um, but Jirachi does learn Thunder Punch, so I, I don't think that'll be his play. Uh, but my safest play here will be going to Artemis. Potentially get a CC off on something here. We'll see what we can do. And he goes for Stealth Rock, so he just makes the easy play. That's fine. Um, his only way to remove hazards is actually his Empoleon right here. We see Leftovers on as well. Um, with a Defog. And he's got two very key weaknesses to Rock. So if I can get my Rocks up, we're still in a really positive spot. So... Uh, we have two real options here. Um, I'm gonna have to run a f the first calc of the game here, though. That's definitely what I have to do, because I want to see how much a Psy Shock, uh, would do to me. So, let's see. We got Verizion. We got the Swords Dance Seb. We are rocking a fair amount of HP. 92 of it, actually. Not, not le a low amount at all. And Mega Latias. Check the Calm Mindset. Uh, and check a Psy Shock. Uh, it does, a, it actually can Oko, yes. It can actually directly Oko me. Uh, low chance, but that's on a Psy Shock and not a Zen. A Zen would probably do more than that, so. I have two options here. I can go for close combat, just fight, be able to fire off tons of damage on anything. Or I can predict a switch into Latias and go for X Scissor, because that's his only switch and nothing else on his team wants to take a CC. In fact, let me calc what a CC does here. 
CC does nothing. CC does, CC does absolutely nothing to it. It does less than 20%. What about an X-Scissor? An X-Scissor does nothing. An X-Scissor also does absolutely zero, depending on his spread here. I'm gonna CC. He does switch out. We'll most likely see the Lottie come in. We do, in fact, see the Lottie come in. So he makes a good play there. Let's see this damage. Oh, man, that does... A lot, actually. It does about 30%-ish. Let me see. Is that... I wonder if that's an offensive one. Well, actually, that was just regular Lottie. Um... No, he's not defensive. It doesn't look like he's defensive here. Let me see what about if he's on like a timid set. That's about right. Yeah, I think he's offensive. Maybe a max HP kind of set here. Potentially. Um, let's see. Where do we want to go in here? Um, let's make the switch in Jirachi. Safe play in general. If he decides he wants to go for like uh, Calm Mind here, we can start Ice Punching him. He's using the Rocks damage kick in, obviously, and he's going to go for the Mega, obviously, as well. x would have been a better play there, I feel, actually. But uh, depending on the ball, the, the, the difference in damage wasn't enough for me to care. And he goes for Roost, actually. He goes right off for the Roost. I could have actually punished him hard with an x or a, or something there. So now we have two options again. We can either go for the U-turn again, or we could go for the Ice Punch. And I think it's probably safer, most likely, to go for the, the Ice Punch, honestly. Or for the U-Turn, excuse me. Ice Punch does, like, fi almost 50 if it's a max HP set. Or U-Turn does... So, we're, yeah, we're just going to U-Turn the Scout as the, his HP here. He does switch out, though. Good. And this might give me another shot to go into Verizion. No, he goes into Darmanitan. And this gives me the opportunity to fire off an attack with... Uh, Actually, I could go on a Garchomp here. Can I go on a Garchomp here? He has to be Scarfy faster than me. I'm already lost my Sash thanks to Rocks right now. And I can just Dragon Claw and hit something hard. Hit something very hard. Yep, we're gonna go to Garchomp. He should be able to touch me. We'll get the. He'll have to reveal choice scarf. If he's not scarfed, he doesn't stay in. If he is scarfed, he U-turns. 100%. So right now, we're going to tell if he's short scarfed or not. I could also go for Stealth Rocks, actually. Is that a better play? No, I do too much damage. His best play goes to Dragon Claw. 100%. He did predict the Ice Punch there, though, I think. Or possibly the U-turn, honestly. But I feel like... I feel like... Empoleon would have been a better play there, though, but... Twitch is on, I guess. We'll see what happens here. He's not Choice Scarfed. I would have killed him with an Earthquake, damn it. He goes for Super Power, though. Which is not gonna kill me. Even close, actually. Not even remotely close. And, uh... He almost directly dies. He, he does die. We pick up the kill. He kills himself with the recoil. Cool! Alright, turn, uh, our first kill for me, he was a Life Orb Darmanitan. And we pick up the kill instantly there, which is very, very nice. So that probably does show, almost definitely, we're gonna see a Choice Scarf variant of the, uh, Porygon Z here. I would have to guess at this point in time, but, uh, we'll still see what's happening. First kill, though, not bad. Life Orb Darm, not a bad play, by any stretch. Darm's a good Pokemon, so... And he does die to Life Orb Recoil. So, okay. We'll have to keep that in mind. Quick start, though. Not a bad start. Uh, less than seven minutes in, he ready to pick up the first kill. And he goes into Thuggin. Which is Weavile. Uh, it's more likely that Weavile... <sighs> this is a tough play. It's more likely that Weavile clicks uh, knockoff here, because it almost certainly picks up the kill. Do I want to stay in here? Let's 
swing at that Empoleon. This is a 50-50 if I switch. Either way, Virizion's the wrong play. Even if he knocks off, it knocks off my uh, Yachi Berry and I can't take a, a nice punch anymore. Let me see how much Slow King takes from this at fully physically offensive. That's that's what I want to know. 40 something seconds. I have to make this play quick. You defensive, Holber, 252, Weavile, Attacker, Knockoff does 48. And then if I have no item, knockoff does. Yeah, I can't take two. <laughs> Shit. I really wish I could have taken two of there. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna. Stay. This is probably a bad play. Reiki's gonna yell at me. I'm gonna stay in. He goes for icicle crash. Oh, the slick avoid! Oh my god! Oh my lord! That's absolutely enormous. I'm gonna switch now. He has to icicle crash this time. He has to Icicle Crash. He can't go for anything else because he'll die. That avoid was rude, dude. And knockoff can't kill me. We get a kill here. He goes for it again. It's not gonna do it does absolutely nothing to me here. That me that miss was just disgusting, and he cannot kill me. Glorious. Glorious! Scald, get out. He may switch. He may switch. There's a chance, actually, that he'll save this. They're very, keep very well. Could that? I cannot believe that missed, dude. That's so rude. 85%. Uh, the thing though is, I don't feel like he needs icicle crash. Ice punch would have done the job it needed to do against everything on my team. It kills Garchomp. Oh, he doesn't even know. He has night slash, and uh, we will pick up the kill. We will pick up the kill. Slow King will eliminate Weavile with a Scald. Fantastic. We're up 2 nothing quickly here. That avoid was definitely rude. But Weavile going down is such a big deal for me at this point in time. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And now we definitely have a shot to potentially try to be clicking Thunder Wave on things. I cannot believe that miss God. Man, that's so rude. What a miss. That's a huge miss, too. I'm somewhat surprised he went for it. Knockoff? Maybe he didn't have knockoff. Knockoff would have killed 100% from that range, because I'm not defensive, as he should have seen from the superpower. I think it would have killed anyway. I don't have any bulk, really. Not a lot, anyway. What's my bulk on him? It's not very much. It's 40. Oh, EVs on HP. It's not a ton. Hmm. Are we setting up at all here for... He still has that stupid freaking Empoleon. There isn't a PZ. Hmm. He wasn't a PZ. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Let's see. Easiest play would probably be to switch in Jirachi here. Let's run a calc. Let's run some calcs, boys. Shall we? Let's run some calcs. Porygon Z specs. Try attack. Does a massive amount to me. Would certainly pick up the kill. Uh, what about the Jirachi though? What about to the homie Jirachi here? We don't have any bulk investment on Jirachi, right? Oh 28 HP, okay. Basically none. If he carries Dark Pulse and then oh if he carries Dark Pulse and clicks that. Ooh, calc saving me. I didn't even think of that. Don't switch into that. That'd be a shitty idea. Do I still need Slow King at all? Can't beat Napoleon. Set up fodder for Lottie. Loses to Port. No, yeah, I think we can drop him here. I think we're gonna drop him. We're gonna see. We're gonna try to calc a little bit what he what he is in the in T wave here. Goes for Dark Paws. My man revealing. However, Dark Pulse is not going to kill Garchomp. Dark Pulse is not going to kill Garchomp. 
No way at all, right? If he's scarfed, he'd have to be scarfed anyway. Dark Pulse does... Woo! If he... Well, that's Specs. No, he can't kill me, Scarf. No way. Oh, actually, you know what? He lost HP. I'm so dumb, he's Life Orb. He's absolute Life Orb. I didn't even think of that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> well done, Chris. Well done. He is Life Orb. Okay. Okay. Um... Come on, Artos. We have Yachi, he can't kill us. We have the ability to go for a uh, an X scissor here. Potentially. Hmm. I think we're an X scissor here. Has that high crit rate? Really scares him. He can't kill us because of the Yachi. We're gonna X-Scissor. He does stay in though. Shit. I'm always wrong. And now he knows I have it. Goes for try attack. This won't do too much. Cause I'm, you know. What's his face? That's yeah, fine. Now we'll go ahead and CC. Might as well now. Yeah, we kill it. Alright, Porygon Z. Down! Porygon Z is down. Very good. Phenomenal. We get that kill with Verizion. Good, good. And he's down to two. Down to three, excuse me. He still isn't pulling up. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Gotta pay more attention, man. I missed the life orb. Missed that life orb. La Chica goes back, so. Um. I 100% do not need this anymore. Oh, do I? No, I still have I still have Garchomp. I still have Garchomp. We're gonna go ahead and go for the kill here and see if he misplays and tries to set up on me. I outsped it. He's not speed invested. That's huge. That's huge. Let me calc that damage real quick. That's important. He's not faster than me. X scissor did a little more than 30. That's close to 40%. So he's not he's not defensive too hard here. It's more likely he's about he's timid and just max HP. And even that seems low. So let's let's count Garchomp. Can we kill him with Garchomp here? Yes. Absolutely. Garchomp is built just as fast, and he doesn't have a switch in anymore. In fact, if that's not Scarf Electivire, I win. If he's not running Scarf Evire, he's it's over. I've gotten him. If he does switch into Electivire, we'll have to. We'll. I'll. I'll switch around him. He's slower. I kill him. One million percent. Bam. Got him. If he goes into Electivire here. Then I'll, I'll switch around it to, to see what he clicks. J is going to be the Electivire. So this thing has to be Choice Scarf. There's absolutely 1 million percent. No way he just switched into that without it being Choice Scarfed. There's no way. So we're going to switch in Jirachi. Predicting the Ice Punch. Here's Rice Punch. Then we're going to U-turn out. He's Life Orb. I won. I won. It's over. I killed both with Garchomp. Yeah, 100%. Okay, cool. Yeah. He doesn't even switch. Oh, I'm not going to get to use Drapion. Sadness. I don't want to switch. I don't want to switch back into Garchomp. Too risky. We're going to switch into Drapion. I want to reveal this. He probably kills me with Earthquake. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna be sad. Go for Wild Charge. He doesn't do a lot, but he's probably got Earthquake, so... Life. 
My life. I'm sorry, Drapion! I wanted to use you, man! I'm sorry! Acupressure, let me use it once! Don't you earthquake me! No! Live! Live! Please, reveal it! I want to reveal it! My life is sadness! This is failure! Everything is failure! I quit Pokemon forever. We're done. I forfeit. Okay, not really. I'm sad. Reiki's gonna be mad. I'm mad at me. My life. How many kills does Garchomp pick up here? Three? Four? Will be four? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Garchomp goes down. Or Garchomp goes down. That miss ends up costing him the game. No choice scarfs. Three huge choice scarf Pokemon all were life orbed. Every single one of them was life orb. Huh. And that leaves him with this leftover Napoleon, which can certainly not take an earthquake from a Garchomp, unless he's fully physically defensive, in which case I beat him with what's this with the uh, Deancey, so. Bah and it's over. Alright guys. We pick up the win there. What well, we lose? Two Pokemon? I think three actually. So we won another 3 0 there. Alright, so that is uh that's the end of the battle, guys. We uh pick up a 3 0 victory. I did not get to use Acupressure Drapion. <laughs> I never had a chance. I never I just never had a chance there. Uh we ended up doing all the work with everybody else. Garchomp just absolutely obliterated him. Um so, I mean, that's what Garchomp does, right? So, as per usual, guys, thank you for uh, watching the battle. I appreciate it. Thank you for sticking with the Blazikins for all 13 weeks of the regular season. We actually end off at an impressive record of 11-1 and one with our one loss coming to some pretty heavy RNG. So, hey, man, can't ask for much better, right? I mean, you can, but I'm not going to, so... Uh, we have confirmed our spot as the number one seed in the playoffs. Your Blazikins will be leading off the Kanto Division at the 11-1 record. The only person in the Kanto Division to do that. Um, which is phenomenal. So, thank you guys for uh, supporting again. I appreciate it. We get a bye week next week. Next week, I will be releasing a final of all the stats for all of my Pokemon. Garchop ends off on a high note, so we'll go through all the stats and stuff. And uh, then in two weeks, we will start uh, the playoffs officially by taking on the first opponent. I don't know who it is yet, obviously, but uh, we will come to that when it arrives. So again, last time, thank you guys for watching the battle. I appreciate it. Um, your Baltimore Blazings are steamrolling into the playoffs, looking to win that NPA Season 2 Championship. And I hope you guys will stick around for that ride. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, make sure you subscribe and follow and like and all that other fun stuff and i will see you guys in the playoffs okay peace ramination see you guys later